Hello everyone, my name is Halo Run and welcome back to Stay Out. Today we'll be doing a small guide to show you all the shops in the Outlands. We'll start by Gromit or Gromit Village. Here you have the basic stuff. All your PPSH, Shoddy <coughs> and AK. Basic gear. Your tech in here. I would be taking my time being slower, but we've got other things to do. This is the medical tent. You can guess what that is. Or what it is. This is the notice board up here. Wow. Ten million. Anyways. We'll get to the next place. We'll show you all the shops in the Outlands. But essentially, to get here from the town, which is there, you're going all the way through here and you just keep following the path to here. Our next destination is here. That's the next shop. Anyways, I'll skip to that. Right, and we're back. This is... Ah, I forget the name of the village. But let's just call it the town of light. Because they're a bit light-headed here. There are only three shops. Meds. A little bit of ammo. And clothing. As you can see. Their stuff takes a long time to farm. And most of it's pretty well useless. Save for the quilted pants and the quilted jacket and the hat. The specific one. The rest is useless. So, anyways, we'll skip to the next one. And we're back. This is the other camp. We call this the Bandit Camp. This one's actually fairly easy to get to, but usually has high PvP. So this is your clothing guy. He's got the big sport bag. Very handy. Sneakers and the such. Then you got your weaponsmith. He sells VZs fairly cheap. He also sells Uzis, AK boosters. I wouldn't waste my time getting an AK here though. The amount of points it takes. But if you don't need the AK, the VZ 20 round mags, or the VZ 65 20 round mags, are absolutely a must if you don't find them on the... What's it? Then once you hit a certain point's reputation with them, you can unlock this. It's a store or stockhouse. Most of them don't have one. Like the Town of Light does not have one of those. Hey, what that of stretcher. Then you got all this. Then you got the tech guy in here. But there's no medical equipment. As you can see, not a single one. Anyways, we're going to skip to the next section, but this basically gives you an idea. This place is okay, but when it comes to getting points, eh, it's a pain in the backside. 
because they don't really take anything and you have to do a lot of jobs to get anything anyways we'll get to the next town paused again and we're back at least I think we're back yep just to double check right this is what's called as I mark it's on the main drag from the priest onwards to up here but it has the guy that sells meds and kit so you got your magazines I personally don't think you should buy magazines as you could probably find them more than buy them houses and whatnot but this is generally a good place to get a few jobs too like collecting a bear head red and brown and medium spider legs it's also a notice board and somewhere to store your stuff anyways we'll skip to the next section now be back and we're back Whew. this is called the lab camp well it's what we call it anyways it probably has a different name but that's what we call it there's only one person you can buy off here right away they sell your lab equipment gas masks and all the good stuff incidentally if you do see this and you look at your guides make sure you get the OZK mask uh, suit not mask OZK suit that is one of the most important suits in the game and you'll find yourself using it more times than not what's the next, next best mask GP5 you can see why it's better than this one higher biological damage and higher Bye -bye. chemical damage yeah, okay. which is useful when going over to this section here the chemical grounds toxic well, not to mention you've also got a few jobs no. Bye -bye. And you also need to do these jobs up to a point so you can get in here. This is the other. Здорово, бродяга. You need a certain amount of reputation to get in here. And then here we go. Ну здравствуй. You need one oh, for 1000 reputation. So then you can get this helmet. The reason why it's important, unlike the one at Gromit or Gromit, is because it has higher sturdiness. This is most important. As that's the next level helmet you need. Yeah, I know, it says level 2, the same as the other one. But it's actually 20% stronger. It's small, and then you can also buy your good shotgun ammo tier. It's uh, pretty cheap compared to what's in the uh, other zones, that's for sure. And you need PMC reputation. Get that and you're good. Otherwise, nope, you won't see this. No, пока. Anyways, we'll skip to the next lot. Oh, I forgot to mention before we go. 
that this camp here pays the most for artifacts. I forgot to mention that before I left. So I've come back just to mention it. But they must be over a certain point. I don't know what the point is, but a certain percent. Anyways, we're skipping to the swamp camp. And we're back. Ordinarily, I'd start directly at the shop. But, yeah, I'm gonna show a little bit of gameplay. Don't worry, there will be chapters for this, so you'll be able to tell where things are. I'm just putting a little bit of time in there, so I can spread things out a little. Just a little bit. Now this is known as the easiest place to gain store credit. Because they take store credit for anything. Hunting wise, at least. They also pay the most when it comes to skins. So a boar skin sells for about 15k roughly. Or 15,000. I'm not Russian. I no speak their language. So we speak English. So you can store stuff. Which is very handy. Always make sure you store a filter here too. That's really handy as well. You gotta fix your stuff. Jobs. And this guy here. See, we got 30k and 12 points. Put these things here. Verlocks. We got two points per leg. Not really worth selling them. Spider legs, one point per leg, two points per mid-sized leg, and I assume for the big ones it'll be three points. But yeah, bear skin, 30k. There's actually a good point to this too. Because it's so easy, you get a hunting knife, and you need that for your hunting expertise. Would you, should you can't speed things up otherwise. Then you got your medic tent. That's ridiculously handy. Anyways, we will skip on to the next shop. That will be the farmer. Anyhow, let's do that. And we're back. This time, we're around the farmer. Handy if you're using him for a job. And he doesn't sell much, just some basic ammo. But the meds are quite handy. Just don't get stuck here with artifacts. Anyways, we will skip to the next zone. Let you know, that's it actually. We'll stop the video at Gromit. I said it's the only other place to stop. Because there's nowhere else you can buy stuff off. And something my mate was just telling me, Sam over there, he uh, stated that any artifacts brought below 20, not 20, 95% here will not sell. I completely forgot about that, so remember that. That's very important. Anyways, we'll skip back to Gromit, and then I'll end the video there. Right. So this is the end of it. This is the hub of Grom... Um, <coughs> this is the hub of Stay Out. So with that in mind, do you remember, this is the only place in the Outlands 
where you can get a level 2 cooking pot which is also useful right. for the recipes he asks you to do. So anyways, last things last, this is the only zone that's the easiest in the Outlands to get guns. Or at least that's the reputation and the credit to get anything. Or the credit in general. Because trading him bull fat, ears and spider parts, not legs, I mean the rare stuff, like fangs and glands, that stuff. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this with me. Hopefully you enjoyed this and it gives you a bit of an idea what to work for. And also, last but least, if you do happen to come out of here and you happen to have your TOZ you don't need anymore, you get a free body armor that you do not have to pay a cent for. Remember that, it's very handy. Anyways, we will catch you in the next episode. Because me and me mate plan to do some videos of other zones. They just take a long time to actually do. Anywho, we'll catch you in the next video. So don't forget to give us a like and perhaps subscribe to see more. Anywho, bye bye.